This episode of One on One with the Old Man is sponsored by Bogart Racing Wheels. Bogart, proudly made in the USA. What's up everybody? The Old Man here. We are in Mississippi at the moment. We're at the hotel. The boys are upstairs and they're editing pictures and videos and I'm working on this. My very first One on One with the Old Man episode. And before I show you this, first I want you guys to understand something. I'm not a professional. My kids aren't professionals. And we're just doing the best we can with what we've got. And we're keeping it real, we're keeping it raw. Some of the language may not be very good for kids or people with uh, tender feelings. And I understand that. And uh, I've seen some comments about language and things of that nature, but I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is who I am. This is the world that we live in. These are the people that we deal with. And I'm keeping it real, I'm keeping it raw, I'm keeping it the way it is. So, with that being said, the videos will get better. You know, this was uh, kind of a last second thing. I didn't want to waste a trip down here. Uh, not that I would waste a trip down here, but I, I didn't want to miss an opportunity. Let's put it that way. You know, we met Bob a few years ago. We met Bobby actually for the first time in person at the very first Street Outlaws No Prep race at Bristol, Tennessee on a Wednesday night. And I actually stood there and helped hold the camera and took pictures of people that wanted to get their picture taken with Bob. And I know he didn't know me. I mean, he knew of us, but he didn't know me, didn't know what to make of me. And he was really busy. But that's where I, I met Bob for the first time. He come rolling in there and some piece of crap motor home. Look, oh my God, it was a mess. You know, but Bob was just getting started. You know, Bobby grew up hard. Uh... And he learned a lot of things the hard way and he's still learning things the hard way. But I have a lot of respect for Bobby, even though he's, uh, you know, he's maybe not everybody's cup of tea, but neither am I. So with that said, I hope you all enjoy this little one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Decody. So Bob, how old are you, man? Thirty-two. Thirty-two years old. Old as fuck. <laughs> How'd you get started in racing? Family, friends, driving people's cars, junior drags, I mean, just different shit. So a lot, of, a lot of people talk a lot of shit on the internet, right? You get in a little bit of drama here and there. All the time. All the time. All the time. So. What's the biggest misconception about Bobby to Cody? What's the biggest what's the biggest shit that you have to fight on a daily basis? Like, probably my looks. Cause everybody thinks I'm a prick. I'm an asshole. I ain't no good. I'm a piece of shit, really. I'll give anybody a sharp on my back and help anybody way, any way I can. You know, I notice a lot that, you know, shit happens around here around home, trees falling. We had a hurricane here last night, tore the hell out of your house, right? Yep. And I see you're on there cutting shit up, traveling up down the street, to, yep. you know, clean up people's driveways yep. so they can get in and out, right? Still dirty right now. I've been cutting trees since 12 o'clock last night. We just stopped a little bit ago. You know, everybody, I always quick to judge people, but they don't ever want to see and judge somebody for who they really are, just they think they look. But 
Yeah, I was on Judge a Book by the cover. I know everybody thinks you're some kind of young punk or something. You know, I've seen some of that shit, too. I can be. You can be. If I need to be. <laughs> if I need to be, you know. So tell me about the name, man. Bob Weezy. <sighs> man, so I was young, dumb, full of cum, whatever you want to call it. Uh, <laughs> man, me and some of my buddies, we used to think we was thugs and all this. thought we was rappers and kind of name stuck because I was 11, 12 years old, still living in Louisiana. And everybody had a little nickname, and that was my nickname. And you rapped a little bit back yeah, then, Yeah, right? a little bit back then. <laughs> Still got some pictures on Facebook from back in the studio days. Nice, nice. <laughs> my space is a motherfucker. So Bob really isn't that bad of a guy. No. He has been at some point. I could be an asshole. I could be a piece of shit. I could it just be no depends good. on how you approach it, right? Exactly. I mean, that's kind of how I am. Yep. I, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? You fuck me one time, shame on you. Fuck me two times, shame on me. The third time, it's game over. I got you. You know, you know everybody knows you uh, from Street Outlaws, New Orleans, right? Back when you had the Maverick, there's something we can talk about, right? For about yeah. the 10 millionth time. Yeah. We're not going to talk about the Maverick. Everybody knows about the Maverick, but would you ever consider building another small tire car? Ah, well... This is the kicker. I mean, at some point, money's got to come into it because yeah. this is this is how you're making your living. Yeah, this is... This and that is, pays the bills. This is the debt collector right here. Yeah. So... There's not really any money in it for you for a small tire car right now, right? No, but in the 2021 season, or the 2021 year, I have some sponsors that are coming on board and some people that, you know, wanted to see other venues of, of the aspect and this car can't really do it right so we're possibly going to be building a new car next year and this car will stay on 29s i got you because so. now i see i don't know maybe you can shed some light into this i see doc's got a money um sean's messing with the 55 so some of the okc guys you know i i'm trying not to say this in a bad way but it's coming to wash. They've been here for so long doing the same thing. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're trying to go to a different deal with street cars and small tire cars, try to make their show interesting again. Try to get back to the roots where people can yeah. relate with them. Um, not everybody can race shit like this on the street, you know what I'm saying? Right. Not everybody can build bullshit like this in their garage. So they're getting back to what your normal everyday guy can have, what your normal everyday guy can build. And try to do something like that with that aspect of people to where everybody can have fun enjoy it and live it yeah yeah you know, more you know speaking of which this is your shop yeah that's this my is where you work on this car that's like my, this is it there is big. no big shop like no nope. lifts no nope. and high dollar tools and a whole freaking crew a couple months I have yeah, a shop worth one point two million dollars. Yeah, right. Look at me, you know, just look at Facebook or Google. So they're worth one point two million dollars. One point two million. Where the fuck is that at? <laughs> I'd like to know. Maybe one point two thousand. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Twelve hundred bucks. You know what I mean? I'm just wondering where that money's at. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, it's we're here today to have this interview with you for one because it was kind of on our way. Right. Two, because I kind of like you anyway. We we hang we hang out last time we were down in New Orleans and yeah. we stopped here at the house and saw you and um, kind of got to know you a little bit better. But two, it this is a regular two car garage. Yep. Right. This There's is... no lift. Hell, we even got a lift and we're nobody. Damn. I got to move up more. Bob Weezy, what's up? I got a jack. <laughs> <laughs> and some Harbor Freight Jack stands that fall. So I see the dirt piles over there. You're getting ready to build a little shop over there, right? Finally. 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 I'm having a shop with some lifts. Nice. I don't know about the expensive tool part, but you know, Harbor Freight's a motherfucker. That's what we do. We <laughs> hit up Harbor yeah. Freight all the time, man. Hell yeah. That's how we roll. I actually picked up a little Harbor Freight sponsorship in Nebraska. Yeah. Did you really? I'll awesome. show you in a minute. <laughs> nice. <laughs> kind of weird. Nice. Let's see. What else have I got here? Uh... Legend, leave Joe alone. My dog is over here humping Joseph. Humping Joseph? Who's Jesus trying? Christ. He's got off camera <laughs> problems here. Legend! No, sir! So you just got done filming this year a little bit, right? Yep, just filmed. We can't really talk about season. any of that. 
No, but, but there will be some cool shit coming up. There's, there's some really cool stuff coming up. I mean, people got the, the aspect of what's going on. They're not stupid. Um, <sighs> filming with JJ. Film with JJ. Film with Chief. Film with the 405 guys. They've been asked for for years, and now the fans really fix and see what they want. You know, they gonna have a deal later on this year that everybody says they want to see Nola, OKC, Memphis, Texas, all these guys on one list. Got they gonna see it? Oh, they gonna see it? We gonna oh. they gonna see who the baddest motherfuckers in America are? I heard New York was in on that. I heard Detroit was in on that. Detroit was in on that. Cali was in on that. Cali was in on it. Who else? Mm. Wow. Where did the boy come from? Which one? Uh, Texas was there. Texas was there. Texas. That's a given. New York. Detroit. Us. Was there some East Coast guys in there on that too, or no? No. No? I mean, there ain't shit fast on the East Coast. Block was over there, right? That ain't shit fast on the East Coast. I know, but (laughs) I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, but I mean, he was there. No. He wasn't there? No, he was there. part. Okay. This was that the, was the fastest in America. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. He was there fast. Oh, so this is a totally different deal. Yeah, yeah. fast in America, you know. It's, fastest in America is one thing. That's two hundred cars. What we're talking about is something totally different. You narrow it down to twenty cars. It's a game changer. It I ain't. It ain't. Oh, this guy here is kind of fast. This guy's kind of fast. It's like, look, you the baddest motherfucker I know here. You the baddest motherfucker I know here. You the baddest motherfucker. And then, boom, roll rumble time. You scrapping any out there? Nope, some other people was. <laughs> we got some scrap action, huh? Man. But this time, not Bobby Dakota. It was not me, as I was watching. <laughs> I was. Actually, you learned that's the best place to be, huh? <laughs> I was actually in shock that some of the boys had gotten in a fight. I can't really? really say who it was. No, nah, we don't want to spoil anything. It was more on a fact of I was like, wow. I was in shock more than I was like into it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just these two guys, like, hear them on TV all the time talking shit. But you never really expect them to do anything. Yeah. And then when it happens, you're just like, oh, damn, you know, you get my phone. <laughs> <laughs> what about you and Birdman? Are you guys cool now or what? Oh, yeah. Everything's he, good. He now. wants to get out too, so I'm just stop his little ass. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, he got that little man syndrome. He's, seven, yeah. he's 70 something years old, four foot nine, so. <laughs> now, for those of you that always are about me beating up an old man, he is not that much older than me. <laughs> He's 11 years older than me. I'm sorry, I'm prettier. <laughs> you got more hair. I do got more hair. He got the backwards fade going on. You know what I'm saying? So what did he do? Uh, I know he wrecked the car. Has he got another car yet? He's been driving Boosted's car. He has? Kind of ideal. Bo- yeah. Boost no way. Yeah. He's been driving Boosted GT's new car. The orange car. The orange car. He's no got kidding. more laps in it right now than Boosted's got. No kidding. Well, that's going to be cool. Yeah. That's I don't know if I can tell my hair. Just come get my car. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> You're going to see a lot of weird shit this see, year. There's a lot of stuff coming out on this new show. 2020 is a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're going to see shit and be like, that's not normal. The and, year of Corona. And all these people that's got a piece of shit cars that are slow, you're going to see their cars and you're going to see their new cars and you're going to be like, damn, somebody spent some money or somebody stroked a check somewhere. Wow. Oh, somebody yeah. been on that news. I'm kind of stoked now, man. I, I'm kind of wanting to see this new show. It's, it's going to be crunk. 2020 years going to be crunk. You're going to see some major upsets. People you never thought, like myself, outrunning people that I ain't never supposed to outrun. Can't really talk much about that, but that's a little bit of a legend. Stop it. <laughs> hey, buddy. So a little bit of the shit talk is going to come down a notch on Bobby Dakota. No, I didn't say the shit talk was about it. I'm just saying. Yeah. They're going to think twice, maybe, yeah. about talking shit about Bobby. Oh, yeah. Especially oh, yeah. on the street. <clears throat> yeah, even my dog got a little crunk over there. <laughs> <laughs> he come out the trailer, growled up, somebody's arguing with me. <laughs> He's ready to get it. So a few weeks, we're going to start the new shop over there. House got tore up a little bit last night. What, what was the name of that hurricane he came through? Zeta. 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 So hurricane came through last night. We drove through part of it getting down here. Yeah. And uh, tore the house up a little bit. Roofs tore up a little bit. Back walls tore up a little bit over there. So. Yep. But I see you got a bunch of dirt piled up over there. You're gonna start building the shop. That's coming up. That was supposed to happen this week. That hurricane didn't let it. Right. So it's hard to do dirt work in a hurricane. Yeah. 
or build build big metal pieces. Anything new coming up for this car? <sighs> Talk to me about Marilat, man. That dude's a bad son of a bitch. Is he? He's goofy. He's a bad dude, son Dude, I'm bitch. telling you what, everything I ever see that guy touch is bad. I, I, I kind of feel bad for him. Why is that? The man's got a hell of a mind. Whatever you can imagine, he can build. Yeah. And when he does, all these other fly-by-night-ass companies, they buy his shit and then copy it. Copy it, yeah. I mean, that's, that's been going on for forever, but... Yeah, but some try to rub it in his face, you know what I mean? Oh, I see. I got you. I got you. you got some people that... I've never met the man. I don't know nothing about him other than everything I see him work on is badass, Dude, and it every, really works good. Everything he has is a work of art. Like, I'm just happy we teamed up on the same deal, because like, if, if I was just... A regular nobody, I, I, there is no way the hell I could afford him. I think he builds some off the wall crazy shit. Yeah. Like, like I said, if you can think of it, he can build it. If you can put it in your mind and put it in his head, he's gonna put it out of the machine. <laughs> it's crazy. So what's going on next year? Is is I assume No Prep Kings is coming back next year? Yeah, I was told two or three things. One being that we're gonna do one season. Two that. We're possibly going to have to film two seasons back-to-back to, back to make up for this lost year. Right. And three yeah. is that we have to do two seasons new Prep Kings and three seasons on the street. Ooh. So if we do, I'm going to buy me another motor. Because yeah, that's what I was just getting ready to say. We just filmed from June to now, which is uh, November, October. It's almost Halloween. And I think got a hundred or something passes on this. Yeah, it needs to come out. Needs to get freshened up. You said it's got a, a lash cap or something stuck on one. Yeah, I got two cylinders that are dead right now. Uh, one and three have been beat up a little bit, so we blocked them off, took the time out of it, hope for the best. Stay in nitrous. Oh yeah, maybe. If you were gonna change from nitrous, what would you do? I might want to see you hit me now. So. <laughs> I mean, if you were ever going, if you would ever get away from nitrous, what would you do? Hand me an approach charger. Pro charger. And a hit. I got some people want me to pro charge this big some bitch, and I'm like, hey, you want me to do five thousand horsepower? Yeah. You don't need that big of a motor. Yeah, right? Hell no. I'm stupid, so I'd probably try to send it. <laughs> yep. Bob, thank you, brother. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. Oh yeah. Thank Good God talking to you. I think everybody's going to enjoy talking to you, hear you talk on here, and maybe getting a little bit more of an insight on who Bobby the Cody really is. Yeah, right? a lot of people get me mis misunderstood. Yeah. Why are you so annoying? I'm trying to film something. <laughs>